हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम योर डी पी मैम एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ योर चैप्टर न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स एंड द टॉपिक इज डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ टेकिंग फूड लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन विद द टर्म एनिमल न्यूट्रिशन नाउ एज यू नो nutrition is the process of taking food and utilization of it by the body for the production of energy and also other food particles and animal nutrition is heterotrophic in nature because they are devoid of chlorophyll and that's why they cannot produce their own food and they depends upon other individuals other organisms for their food okay now there are several types of heterotrophic nutrition first one holozoic nutrition in that case the organisms feed by ingestion of solid organic matter by the digestion that means by break down the food particles with the help of several special type of enzymes and then they absorbed it and this type of nutrition is observed in human and animals and also in the insectivorous plants whereas in saprotrophic nutrition they feed on the dead and decaying matter okay and they release the digestive enzymes on the external sources from which they want to collect the nutrients and the last one is parasitic nutrition in that case one organisms depends upon other organisms and they collect their nutrients by getting harm to the next one okay and nutrition is very essential for the growth and development of our body repair our immunity that means our defense system and also other biological functions okay now there are several steps of animal nutrition now if we want to collect the nutrients then there should be some uh, sources of nutrients that means the food and there are five types of nutrients first one is carbohydrate next one lipid third protein fourth mineral and the fifth one is vitamins now carbohydrate lipid and proteins are known as body building nutrients and also energy providing nutrients whereas vitamins and minerals are the protective nutrients carbohydrate lipid proteins provide us the energy and also the protein is very important for the development of our body our growth okay now the next step is the mode of intake that means if we want to collect the food materials now there are several processes through which we can do it now for uh, this food taking processes depend upon the habit of the organism for example see three pictures first one is a kingfisher and uh, the food is actually the fish and they capture the food with the help of their beak whereas in case of rabbit they are herbivores and they uh, collect or consume the plant parts and chewing it by their teeth and then consume it and the next one is the monkey here uh, with the help of their hands they collect the food uh, food and then by chewing with their teeth they consume it that means the way of their taking food is depends upon the nature of their food and also their habit okay the next step 
is the utilization of the body and we can utilize the nutrients of food into two different steps the first one is the breakdown of complex components and the second one is the metabolism now see here this is the complex substances and here the joining between two chains and there are some special type of uh, proteins that breaks this bond and here we get the simple substances the first one second one and the third one that means here the complex substances are transformed into the simple substances and this is known as breakdown of complex components and it is also known as the digestion we will discuss later okay but after getting the simple substances what would be its uh, aim these simple substances are utilized by the body in two ways first one is the anabolic way or anabolism and the next one is the catabolism now anabolism is actually the production of something that means here the simple substances also used to make up complex substances and this is known as anabolism and catabolism whereas the complex substances are break down into the simple substances and here the energy is produced that means catabolism is important for the production of the energy whereas anabolism is important for the production of complex substances now in this way after the breakdown of the complex food material into the simple one these simple nutrients or simple substances are utilized by the cell okay now the next concept is the digestion now digestion is actually the breakdown of the complex substances into the simple one now see here here is two term polymer and monomer now monomer are uh, some beads for example see here these each coloring beads are the monomers and when the monomers are attached to each other they form the polymer and in the food source there are three types of polymers one is carbohydrate next one lipid and third one protein and the enzyme enzyme are some special type of molecules that involved in the breakdown of the complex component that means the carbohydrate molecules are broken into the many glucose molecules with the help of enzyme and also the lipid molecules are broken down into fatty acid and glycerol and protein into the amino acid now see the picture this is the polymer and here the scissors are the enzymes and see here the polymer is cutting down by simple substances with the help of enzymes by the scissors okay now this whole process is known as digestion now the next concept is the ways of food taking now there are several types of ways first one is scraping next one chewing third one capturing and swallowing fourth one siphoning and the last one is sponging and these types 
are observed into different organism according to their food type and also according to their habit okay let's start with the scrapping now in this type of feeding organisms collect the food particles from the fixed or stocked food by scrapping now here see the diagram now this is observed in case of snail and inside the mouth of the snail there is a special type of structure known as radula and this radula contains many teeth and with the help of teeth they actually broken down the food sources into small particles and after that they consume and this type of feeding mechanism is known as scrapping and it is found in snail beetle ant okay now the next type is the chewing type now here also the food component is solid it may be leaf maybe stem maybe other solid edible things and here the organism possesses some special structure and these two structure are involved in the cutting of the food materials and also chewing and this is known as mandible okay and this type of feeding mechanism is found in and cockroach grasshopper okay now the next type is capturing and swallowing now here also the food source is solid but here some special structure are involved tongue beak like that now see here the frog in that case frog throw their tongue on the insects and then they capture it and in case of birds they actually capture the food material by their beak okay and this type of feeding mechanism is known as capturing and swallowing type now the next is sucking type and this type of feeding mechanism is found in mosquito hummingbird etc okay now what happened in that case deposits a special type of structure which is needle like and they uh, by using this type of structure they actually suck the food materials now in case of mosquito they insert this structure by penetrating our skin and collect the blood from our body okay now this is known as sucking type of feeding now the next is siphoning type now in that case the food particle uh, food material is also liquid but it is nectar now nectar is present in the flower and it is found in the butterfly and here the special structure formed a coil shaped and this is known as proboscis and by inserting this structure into the flower they actually suck the nectar okay now the next is the sponging type now in that case the proboscis becomes broader at their tip and they actually collect some dissolved or liquid food material by inserting this proboscis and it is found in the house fly now the next is the feeding mechanism in starfish now starfish has two stomach one is cardiac stomach and another is pyloric stomach they actually uh, thrown their 
cardiac stomach on the food material and then consume it that means they pushed out the stomach from their body and engulf the food and then digest it and absorb it now in this way they consume their food material okay now these are all about the feeding mechanism in the organisms learn properly and stay safe stay healthy thank you